Hi everyone, my name is Dash and I'm a lead developer advocate here at Snowflake. This is part two of the Snowpark for Python demo series focused on data engineering. In the last segment, we walked through how to start a Snowpark session, load data into data frames, and get started on some simple data transformations. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out. In this segment, we'll be focusing on Snowpark User Defined Functions, or UDFs. Snowpark UDFs allow custom logic written in Python to run directly in a secure, sandboxed Python runtime inside the Snowflake engine. There are three types of UDFs in Snowpark. Scalar UDFs let you operate on each row in isolation and produce a single result or a value. Vectorized UDFs let you receive batches of input rows as pandas data frames and return the batches of results as pandas arrays or series. We also have user-defined table functions that return multiple rows for each input row, return a single result for a group of rows, or maintain state across multiple rows. To illustrate how to use UDFs, I'll be demonstrating a simple and a complex example on the same Amazon review data set as I used in my last video. For the simple example, I've created and registered a scalar UDF named two lowercase. That UDF takes a single parameter and returns the same string in lowercase. Now I can call it in my Snowpark data frame on the summary column using call UDF, and here we see a snapshot of the results. All of the reviews are in lowercase now, and that consistency can help for further analysis. Now for my complex example, I'm going to use a vectorized UDF with spacey and beautiful soup libraries to prep my data for natural language processing. It's really easy to work with open source libraries like Spacey and Beautiful Soup in Snowpark because they're pre-installed from the Snowflake Anaconda repository. And Snowpark comes integrated with the Conda Package Manager for dependency management. In this example, I'll first create and register my natural language processing UDF by importing the packages that I need from the Snowpark Anaconda channel. I'll use the UDFs on the review text column to strip the HTML and tokenize and lamentize the verbs and remove any stop words from the Amazon reviews for natural language processing use cases. Now let's go ahead and call this UDF on our data frame. Here you will see the output of this UDF for the first 10 records with the review text on the left and the tokens on the right. Now that concludes part two of this video series on UDFs. Make sure to check out part three to see how we can use Python stored procedures in Snowpark.